Hi, welcome back to Every Way Woman, and we're back with our relationship duo, Charles and Charlie. So far, we've been talking about the red flags and the deal breakers in relationships. Now we're going to talk about, should a man court a woman, or, and are women making it difficult for men to court these days? So Charles, give us the info on that. I know a lot of my friends, they're talking about that guys suck, that they're, <laughs> that they're, <laughs> they're not thinking about their dates, you know, they're just asking them to come over to the house. And, right, yeah. well, pizza and beer, you know, none of that date stuff. Well, Friends there's, with benefits. <laughs> well, there's two issues, right? So one is on the woman's side, are they making it difficult? But let's take the top end first. So technology has fundamentally changed how we communicate today. Definitely. And a lot of guys will end up using that as a way to to try to get out of what normal relationships take, which is real effort, right? A text message of, what's up, doesn't work. Right. You know, a, a, a text message might work for fast communication, um, but guys have to have to put it out there. And what we're really talking about is chivalry. Mm -hmm. You know, the ability to, to court a woman goes back to primal instincts where men are capturing a mate. Are women making it difficult today? For sure. Uh, there's a there's a ton of challenge when it comes to a guy. You never know what what she's really looking for because communication has changed. So even though a man may put his best foot forward, you end up with women who think that chivalry is wrong. Uh, where don't hold the door up for me. I I, I can open it myself. I don't need your help. Um, and I think that part of the challenge there is is that when you when you take when you take equality and you put it ahead of what just treating a woman like a woman is all about, I think you run into issues. So no matter if she's high powered or not, that's the most important. Part. I treat a, a, a woman like like she's supposed to be treated, like I would hold the door open for a guy. Right. You right. know. But when you get you get that step of equality in there, then it, it kind of muddles things. Right. Well, and I love the fact that you even mentioned that whether she's high powered. Well, that's our whole problem. Do you want to be treated as a woman? Does it matter what your income is, what your status is, what your job is? No, if you want to be treated as a woman, then teach people to treat you like a woman. But here's the other half of that. Right. You need to be able to receive it. Right. I had a That's... client recently whose issue was, you know, picking all the wrong men and they all wanted booty calls. <laughs> so we, we totally shifted her like mm -hmm. this. And she meets this amazing guy and they're like two and a half weeks into the relationship and she says, well, he hasn't done this and he hasn't done that. And he basically hadn't come on to her so strongly physically. And I said, wait, 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 wait. I thought the whole goal was for you to be courted. You just shifted out of that old pattern. Now you've attracted a guy who actually is treating you with respect and you're bored and worried that he's not going fast enough. Mm. We have to think about what we really want and then be able to receive it. And also with the guys out there, I don't know if you agree with this, you know, they, they are hearing so much mixed information and every woman that they meet has a different set of rules and desires that she wants. So. As women, I think it's really important for us to really approach each man and say, you know what, we have no idea who else he's been with and what they told him was okay and was not okay. So we really need to take responsibility and sort of teach that, share the information, and get off the downgraded form of communication. Right. Well, you've also, Talk! But, <laughs> for real! But you brought up a really good point, right? And that is that you, you end up with a, a high-powered woman who doesn't know what it's like to be treated like a woman. So as a result, you end up with guys who are nice guys and even those high-powered women, uh, women who are not necessarily in power but they have their own empowerment, they are used to being treated so poorly it becomes very commonplace, becomes familiar, mm. even comfortable. So when you end up with that nice guy, you don't want to be courted. It feels bad. It feels like you're clingy. You're doing all this stuff like, get away from me. I'd mm. rather be treated like crap because that's what I'm used to. Right, right, or right. Or a lot of women are coming off from this thing of, you know what, I did this for so long and this is where our gender used to be and now it's your time to show me. That is not, it's got to be reciprocal. Mm. And if you want a man to court you, he needs to be interested in doing it. And if you're leading with that kind of attitude, he's probably going to say next. And I wouldn't blame him. Right. <laughs> well, thank you so much. If you guys would like more information, we'll be here at everywaywoman.com.